G'day gamers, I'm Rick in Water and welcome back to Subsistence. It's day 7 of our Dead is Dead playthrough. Okay, our temperature is up high enough. I'm going to extinguish the fire. And let's head out. Well, there is still a wolf over there. I don't know if that's the same one. I think it is, it's a level 3. Alright, so we'll head this way, away from the wolf. And hopefully I'll be able to find enough ammunition so that when we come back, I'll be able to kill that wolf if it's still there. I really don't like the idea of leaving that guy hanging around our base all the time. There's a crate here, let's see what's in that. Building supplies and no ammunition, unfortunately. My temperature is quite low for this time of day, which is unusual. There has been a patch since I last played, so I don't know if there's been a change in the way the um, temperature works. There's another bag up this way. Still no ammunition. I can see a wolf over there, but I really need to check this crate. Well, this looks like an ammunition bag. This might be just what we're looking for. And no ammunition, but we do now have the ingredients to craft some more. Only one round, unfortunately, but that should allow us to at least take down a low-level wolf. There is a crate over here, but there is also a bear in the distance, but... I'm going to try my luck. I'll just make sure I'm ready to run if need be. And I did see another crate down this way. There's a bag there. We've got two bags here, medical supplies, and that looks like a wooden crate. More crafting materials, but unfortunately no ammunition. I should have enough now to craft one more 9mm round. Yep. And there's a wolf just over there. I'll steer clear of him. Don't need to get into a, a confrontation at the moment. You can see another bag there. Hopefully that will be an ammunition bag. And there's a crate in the distance also. And another bag over to the left. So hopefully we should get at least some good things out of this. I think I saw a fourth bag also. Ah. Sorry, if you wander your view away from the item you're opening, it uh, resets the opening action. I know there's one over that way, but there's also 
a bear, I think. I may be able to get to this without him being too annoyed. Got a wolf directly in front of us, but I can see a bag in the distance. So we'll see if we can... I can also see a crate down there. See if we can make our way down to this crate and then head back up to that back. Oh no, something's chasing me. So I'm just running. It's a bear, so I'm not going to be able to. Oh, it sounds like a bear and a wolf. I'm just going to keep going for as long as I can. My energy is about to run out. Well, that's that. I think I pushed my luck a little too far. I really needed to keep my uh, food and energy levels up so that I could have run for a longer distance. I think uh, that was one of the mistakes I made. The other mistake... The other mistake I made was getting a little bit reckless with how close I came to those animals. I knew there was a bear down that way because I had seen it when I'd grabbed one of the bags earlier, but instead of paying more attention to where the bear had gone, because I couldn't see it immediately, I just headed straight down that way. I really should have been more careful. So I have no one to blame but myself for that. There was no glitch in the game or even anything unfair there. That was just my own recklessness that resulted in that death. We only survived seven days, which I'm disappointed about having gotten that far. I initially wasn't sure we would even survive day one, but having gotten to a week, I felt like we were in a fairly comfortable position. But I think this series has shown that the game is definitely playable even if in its current state, even playing in a permadeath fashion. Like I said in my review, there is still plenty of balancing issues, but that is less about difficulty and more to do with realism. I know that the developer is working hard. There was a patch release just today, in fact, to fix a few bugs and some exploits. Um, so I am confident not only in the future of this game, but being able to play it even in, in its present state. So I've rambled on long enough, trying to drag this video out a little bit longer. So I'll end the video here. Let's go and uh, sacrifice ourselves to this level 3 wolf by attacking it with an axe. And on that note, we will end this video, end the series. If you're keen to see another Dead is Dead series of this game, let me know in the comments and give the video a like, and I might start another one sooner rather than later. So thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.